okay uh welcome everyone uh i was not speaking so if i was not speaking you will not hear me right anyways uh i'm just resting a phase shifter in the initial phase i'm going to subtract from every 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 curve right so initial phase i'm going to subtract from every curve so this is invalid why is it invalid or oh, double minus sign sorry okay now it's valid so now this is 11.25 isn't it so marker new so this is 10.7 of course there will be some error marker new okay so this is the error you have to live with unless you want to really uh, okay you really want to minimize this by calibrating this but this is the first step okay let's look at the second step so i'm going to go to simulation settings so i'm going to put here one zero apply cancel so now this will become zero and this will become one and this will become one and this will become zero so now this is one zero simulate and here i'm going to add from one zero okay so one zero s to one phase okay and from this i'm going to subtract the original one okay so again there is a double minus sign for some reason okay so now this is going to be 22.5 marker new 22.5 okay marker new 22.5 so now you are you looking at 11.25 of course you would not have that exactly there would be error now this is 22.5 okay now what's next is i'll put another bit okay this will be uh one one right so i'll change the data set simulation settings now i'm going to put one one apply and here i'm going to change this to one and this to zero so this is one one input so i'm going to expect here 11.25 plus 22.5 right so I simulate this. Okay, don't say yes. So I'm going to here go to one one. And I'm going to put the input here. Sorry, this will be a phase. S21 add phase. And to this I'll subtract the original one. Again, why there is a double minus sign. Okay, so now this will be 22 and a half plus 11, 32 and a half, 32.75. So I'll put a marker, insert, sorry, not over here, insert marker, new. Okay, so this one is 32.75. So it's, there is an error, of course, marker, new. Sorry, not here. Over here, marker new. Okay, as long as you are monotonic, and as long as your error is less than half the LSB, you do not have a problem here. Okay, so now let's go to simulation settings, and this time I'm going to go do one zero zero. Okay, apply, cancel. So this is going to become one. And these are going to become zero, 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 and zero. Okay, and then this is going to become zero. So this is going to become zero, and this is going to be one, and this is going to be one. Okay, so now this is for input of four. Binary word is four. Okay, so binary word is for S21 add phase. 
And from this, I'm going to subtract the face of the initial one. So that's one. Okay, so I'm going to put another marker. So over here. Okay, so this is 45 degrees. Of course, there is a 0.5 degree error, but that's okay. You can always tweak your design to minimize all this kind of stuff. Okay, so I have developed a one degree error over here. Okay, that's fine. So this, sorry. So I'm just putting in your digital inputs and I'm getting these phases, right? So let's put a final one, okay? The final one would be all of these are going to be one and these are going to be zero. So let's put the final one, simulation settings. This will be one, 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 okay? Apply, cancel, and name. So this will be one, 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 and this will be zero, zero, z sorry, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so this will be 348, 348.75, right? So I'll just hit simulate. Okay, now, and I'm going to do this is go to the final one, S21 phase. Okay, and from this, I'm going to subtract the original. And of course, you are over here as minus something, right? Marker new, this will be minus 11.25. Because, so this will be minus 11.25, this should be. Right, because you have gone round 360 degrees and you are left with an angle of minus 11 points. So overall, I accumulated an error of one point some degrees. Okay, so to this, I can add 360. The reason is because I have gone around, I don't want to see the negative phases. So this is a 360 degree rotation. So there we are. So now we are 347, 347.8. We should be 348.75. Okay, so we are in one degree error, okay, at the end of it. Okay, so what we have done is we simulated some initial phases, right? We simulated some initial phases and then we finally jump to the final one. The final one is 348.75. Of course, there is a one degree error over here. So in all the phases, I'm going to accumulate some error, but that error will not go beyond one, one and a half degrees plus minus. So that's all the point I'm trying to prove. Now, I also want to look at what happened to the return loss, okay? So I'm gonna look at S11 and S22 for the initial one. Of course, this is set so bad because this is the one which we started with, right? So let's look at S11 and S22 over here in DB. Okay, so we are better than 10 DB. We are around 11 DB. So that's okay. It's not going to kill you. Okay, we are mismatched slightly. It's, it's still better than minus 10 DB, right? Let's look at the others. Let's look at the phase one one. 0, 1, okay, so S11 and S22. Okay, so we are over here now, not bad. Okay, so here I can put here from bit one, I can put S11 and S22. Okay, so we are better than 10, okay. Let's look, the, look at the other ones. So let's say I go to one zero. One zero, sorry, this is the four, right? So one zero is this one, S one one, S two two. Okay, so we are over here. Let's see how bad we are over here. Okay, so let's see how bad we are over here. S for, for the second one? Yeah, for the second one. S one one and S two two. Okay, so we are still better than 10. 
Okay, so the idea is for me is 10. I don't want to cross written loss worse than 10. Okay, so I don't want to cross with written loss worse than 10 on this. And over here, you can see the matches are like this. Now, you can always fine tune this, bring it up here, but this is like a very crude first hand design, right? Right in front of you, it is just a first hand design. So as long as you maintain written loss better than 10, you don't have an issue. So let's look at the final one, sorry, the final one. The final one is this one. Look at S11 and S22. So we are over here and let's over look here in DBs on the final one. Okay, on the final one, S11 and S22. And we are all better than 10 dB. Okay, so return loss is better than 10 dB. Your matches are going to move here, but your phases, phases are within plus minus one and a half degrees. So as long as you are within plus minus absolute one and a half degrees, you are not going to get killed. Okay, your matches will be here. Now, if I attempt a second version of this, I'll be able to minimize the mismatch and I'll be able to improve this. Okay, so this just is a test for the five bit phase shifter. The five bit phase shifter, what did I do? I simulated these linear, these phases, okay, with for the different binary words, right? And then the final one, I and in between you will fill the other ones, right? So basically you can run that simulation that many times and then you will have, have the entire 32 states over here from zero to 348.75, you're going to have 32 states. And then you are going to see the match over here is going to be better than 10. So as long as that is there, you are done. Now, that means that I should put a gain stage. Okay, so let's look at S21. S21, S21 is around 12, right? Now let's look at the other bits, other cases, let's say at one, S21 is around 11. That's fine. Let's put uh, the second one, that is bit number two, like the input two, S21 dB. Okay, so we are within a, a band of one dB over here. So basically I can compensate this with a gain stage and I'm done. So let's look at one more stuff, okay? So S21, let's look at for input three. Let's look at S21. Okay, so we are between, again, we are between that one dB, one, deb, one dB insertion variation and insertion loss is one dB over here. Let's look at the final one. The final one is this one and S21 dB. Okay, so we are kind of like this. So it's like 11 minus 11 point, let's say one to 12.4. It's still, it is around one and a half dB. We are within one and a half dB range over states. So you can try all the states over here. You can plot what is the insertion loss over here. You can plot what is the mismatch over here. You can also look in the Smith chart where we are here. Okay, so this basically is a first cut design. And I didn't have time to, to, to optimize this, right? You can optimize this to minimize the phase errors. You can optimize this to minimize insertion and also the written loss. Uh, this is a first cut design. In first cut design, I'm better than minus 10 dB return loss. Insertion is between 12 and 11. And phases are, phase errors are between plus minus one and a half, right? So that's what's happening over 32 phases. So this tests, this basically tests our design. So our design was this phase shifter, 32, uh, sorry. It was like five bit phase shifter, 32 states between zero and 348.75 degrees. That's the phases which we created. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do the attenuator design. Okay, phase shifter is done. Okay, so again, let me put a gain stage here. So what would I do with the gain stage? Like, let's let's see our LNA. Okay, in LNA, 
this has a gain of around 11. Okay, so I am going to say, I'm just gonna copy this stage and say copy cell, copy cell. And I'm gonna say this is going to be gain composition stage. Okay, now this is over here. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it came here. Wait, I'll put it on here. Okay, so gain compensation stage. Okay, now I am going to boost this gain up to 12 dB. Well, how would I boost that? I will reduce the current. Reducing the current or increasing the current? Actually, the output resistance increases if I reduce the current. Okay. But we're not sure what's going to happen. S to 1 dB. Let's look at S to 1 dB. Okay, 11.05, nothing happened over here. Let's look at S11 and S22. Uh, they are nothing happened over here. Then one way to improve the gain would be go here and I'll minimize the feedback. So I'm gonna increase this to 1200 or 1400. Apply and that's it. And let's simulate this. So we have a gain of 12 dB. Of course you can match this. So to match this, I am going to reduce this guy, 28. And I am going to lower this guy. So S22, right? So lower this guy, 11, 11, and hit simulate. So it is coming closer, right? And the gain should improve further. So let's reduce this further to 10 and 10, 10 and 10, okay. And let's reduce further to 26, okay. And what about the input side? Input side, I have to reduce this because I want to go to the right. So I have reduced this and I have to increase this. So let's say 23.6 or seven or eight, maybe that's okay. 24 is okay. And I need to increase this inductance further. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna increase this inductance further. I'm going to increase this to 24.5. Okay, and hit simulate. Okay, so it will come closer, but that's fine. It's better than 10 dB. And my gain is around 12, which will compensate for the loss of the, this will compensate for the loss of the phase shifter. So let's put here S11 and S22. As long as it is better than 10, minus 10. So it's better than minus 10. So this is the culprit. If you want, you can tune it. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'll tune it just because I don't want to leave it like this. And this guy, maybe six and seven. Okay, increase this further. 30. Okay. Fine. So we are over here. We are equidistant here. Okay. And this is around, worst case is around minus 11.4. And this is 13. And this is 12.8. So we are good enough. Uh, maybe I can slightly increase the current here to 7.5. And hit simulate. This is the last thing I have done. Okay. The gain here is 13. The gain here is 12.7. Let's lower the current further, uh, eight, and the match would further improve. Okay, 
so now we are better than 12 here and better than 18 here okay so basically uh, let me increase this to 28 okay so now we are better than 15 here and 18 here and here we are 12.7 here we are 12.4 so basically this will compensate the, the loss of the phase shifter and return losses are good and the match is good. So I am going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make symbol for all of them, okay? So how do I make a symbol for all of them? So this is gain compensation, new symbol and say fine and say, okay, what? Okay, my, my stupidity, sorry, that's my stupidity. I didn't put a pins there, right? So delete this one. Just copy this cell, copy cell as component. So for component, I add a C as I have done earlier. So this is gonna go over here and I am going to change things over here. I'll bring out the ground, okay? I'll bring out the ground here and P in P out and this is going to be 0.78 and 1.8 and this is not required this is not required okay and this is not required okay so we have the pins here you have got p in we have got p out right we have got vg and i'm going to add some information that this is 78 Okay, so that's the uh, information I have added for myself that this is 0 0.78, okay, 0 0.79, that doesn't matter. Then VD is 1.8, 1 and 8. So I've added some information for myself and why this is nine? Ah, okay, ground is this one. So I have made this block and I am going to make a, a circuit for a uh, symbol for this go here and say new symbol say okay say okay and over here i will very quickly make a symbol for this one medium so i'm going to go two on this and two on this and i'm going to go here into here and this is ground this is going to be ground and this is going to be P out, and this is going to be P in, and this is going to be VDD, uh, where is the rotate? So this is going to be VDD, and this guy is going to be ground, oh sorry, VG, this is VG. Okay, and this thing can go off. So this is my symbol for the gain stage. Then what I can do is I can go to my test phase shifter. And over here, I am going to go ahead. So not over here. If you want, you can include inside. If you want to see inside, you can see that inside. But I usually don't see that inside. I'm going to put here the block here, gain block here. So basically insert that gain block here like this. Oh, it's too big. That's okay. I made it too big. Okay. Sorry. So that's connected. Then I need 1.8 volts for the supply. And I want 0 0.78. And 
that's it. So now I have compensated for the loss. So in terms of phases, nothing is going to happen. Uh, see, we are worried about the relative phases, right? So I will do two simulations. Okay, one would be simulation setting. I'll use the default cell, apply. Right, so basically I am going to put here all zeros. Okay, name. So these are going to be all zeros. And these are going to be all ones. So this is the initial phase I am doing. So if you remember everywhere I'm subtracting the initial phase. So if I do this, okay. Uh, what happened over here? Okay, don't worry. Okay, let's look at, oh, there are S parameters here. That's the problem. There are two S parameter blocks here. Uh, why there are two? Is there something inside this? Yeah, who will get rid of this? Okay, now oh, fine. Okay, so of course this will be messed up. This will be messed up, but let's do this again. Okay, let's look at S21 phase. That's doing this. Of course, doesn't matter because there's a transistor. There. there is a gain stage there, right? Now, I am going to simulate these changes, right? So this will be zero. This will be one. Okay. So name. This will be zero. This will be one, and this will be zero. Right. And the data set is going to be. So basically, I'm going to use. Uh, data set which is zero one. That's the one. Apply simulate. Okay, no. And over here, I am going to subtract this as is. Control C. It's control V. Okay, so that's zero. And then I will go to one. And I will say S to one phase. And to this, I am going to subtract this. Minus, oh, invalid. Why invalid by, oh, this is DB. This is all wrong. And again, I put the thing at the wrong place. Okay, don't worry about this. I'll correct this. Minus phase. Okay, this should be a minus sign. Minus phase. Okay, so we are back to where we were, right? is slightly more worse maybe okay but then let's do the others okay so now let's see what happened over here so i have to just simulate now i don't have to do anything i have to just simulate all the states now okay so next time i'm going to do one zero one zero apply and i have to do one zero over here so this would be one this would be zero and this is going to be zero, and this is going to be one. Okay, so the second one I'm going to fix. Okay, now, so the second one got fixed here, right? The second one got fixed here. 21.22.5, uh, I'm 21.1, okay? So that's fine. Okay, we, are, we have certain relative error, doesn't matter. Uh, now the next one, simulation settings, I'm going to put one, 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 apply, cancel. And this would become one. And this will become zero. So now this is one, one input. I am going to change the settings to one, one. Okay, apply and then simulate. Okay, no. So the third one got corrected over here. Okay, so now do the fourth one. So of course you will see all this happening, right? So don't worry about this. So now you are seeing insertion like between zero and one dB gain because we put a gain stage there, right? So let's correct a few more, okay? So now here, this is going to be one. 
and this is going to be zero this is going to be zero this is going to be zero this is going to be one and this is going to be one done so this would go to sorry i pressed the wrong button this go to simulation settings and this is going to one zero zero okay apply cancel simulate say no okay so we have the fourth stage over here let's look at the final one okay so the final one was all ones here and all zeros here, right? So name, all zeros, all ones here, and all zeros here. Okay, so the data set is called one, 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 apply, cancel, and hit simulate again. Okay, now, so now this is back to 348.75, but you have accumulated more error. That's fine. Return losses are still better than 10. And now you are going to see zero to one and a half dB of gain rather than a loss because you have compensated for the, you have compensated for the loss, right? What happened over here? Okay, this I don't need anymore. Okay, so we are back to the phase shifter, which has a zero loss. Okay, so now I have phase shifter with the compensating gain stage, and I'm all set with the phase shifter. So I'm going to leave this over here. Let's look at let's look at uh, attenuators. Okay, so the next step is to design attenuators, right? Okay, so I am going to make a new folder and I will call this as ATTN. So I'm going to make an attenuator, okay? And I'm going to go here and make a display file. And here I'm gonna write all the equations for attenuator, digital attenuator. So now let me go to my presentation. And there are formulas given for T and pi pad, okay? Okay, so there are formulas for T and pi pad, which are over here. This part we have done phase shifter, right? So if you look at my stuff here, well, this is kind of optimized, right? So I had some more time to design this. I didn't design on the fly. So basically this is what it looked like without an amplifier in that case, right? And it will last better than 18 or something. And these phases don't have that much of error. Okay, so, so you can always spend more time and optimize it, but this was a quick first cut design. Now let's look at this at near pads. So I'm gonna write these equations and I'm going to get these values. Now, it's worthless to, for me to write equations, but still I will write them so that I get used to. So you can design a attenuator pad between any two impedances. So it can be not, it's just not 50-50. You can do between 50, 100, 50, 75. These equations are valid, okay? So the next thing is RF loss. RF loss, so I am basically putting in a vector so that I have all the designs at once. So I want to design it for 0.5 and then comma one, comma two, comma four, comma eight, comma 16. So this is the array for which I want to design. This is my, my values, right? So this is what I want to design it for. Then I would have some intermediate variables. Okay, so these equations are for inputs in dBs, right? So first of all, I'll have to convert this into real numbers. Okay, so that's what's happening over here. RF loss divided by 10 and then minus one. Okay, fine. So this is V1, then V2. V2 is going to be plus one. So these equations are very simple, plus one. And then I compute all the values. RT1, 
RT2 and RT3. So these are resistors one, two, and three in the sequence from left to right. Okay, so RT1, RT2, and RT3. So I'll first compute RT3. RT3 is equal to uh, V2 V by V1, V2 by V1, right? And into Z1. Uh, no, sorry, RT3 we are writing, right? RT3, twice of square root of, uh, square root of Z1 into Z2 into V3. Where is V3? Oh, I didn't do V3. Into V3 uh, divided by V1. That's okay, it'll be red colored, but just for a small time, don't worry about it. I'll put here V3. V3 is going to be the same stuff actually. 10 raised to RF loss by 10. RF loss by 10, that's it. Okay, so RT3 is there. RT2 is there, which is equal to, uh, V2 by V1. Into Z2 minus RT3. Into Z2 minus RT3. So these equations for any to any termination. So don't worry about that. You can always change these termination. 50 to 100 you can do here. And this attenuator pad will do the transformation for you also. Right? So the next one is, I'll copy this. I'll say RT1. RT1 is going to be equal to this uh, Z1 RT3. Z1 RT3. So we are done with the T pad. Let's put here the values. Okay, so equations. And I want interested in RT1, RT2, RT3. Okay, and then I will also put here the values for which I have designed, which is RF loss. Okay, so I, for, for 0.5 dB, the resistor values are this. For, for 1 dB pad, the resistor values are that. For 2 dB pad, resistor values are that. 3 dB, they are there. 4 dB, sorry, 4 dB, 8 dB, and 16 dB. Binary scaled. Similarly, I'll do the pi. Okay. Sorry, cancel. Of course, I can save this. I can save this as design ATKN, design attenuator. Okay, so let's add some more equations here for the pi equivalents. Okay, so here I have to first do RP3. RP3 is equal to uh, 0 0.5 of of v1 one into square root of into square root of something that something happens to be z1 z2 by v3 z1 z2 divided by v3 okay one more thing i'll tell you before i proceed everyone is looking for equations and if they don't find equations they do this crazy uh, trial and error stuff, or they will pick it up from some paper and do this. Now, once you find out these equations, okay, for every design, there are equations. If I want to design a coupler, there is an equation, which will put me in the right area before I even do trial and error, okay? So for every design, there are equations. So basically the, the, the Nettel designer, which I have, uh, I have many circuits where there are equations for everything, even for the gain stages, there are equations. You can design for a certain gain, but you have to derive those equations yourself. So you know what goes into, into the operation, okay? So you will see me writing equations all the time. And these equations I have to find only once or maybe I have to derive only once, okay? And after that, they are always available for me. One divided by V2 
divided by bracket open z1 multiplied by v1 bracket close uh, then minus 1 divided by rp3 bracket close so how many brackets did i close uh, v2 by this minus 1 over rp3 by this so that's okay then rp2 would be equal to z2 that's it other than that there is no variation this is z2 yeah. so now i will add the same this thing so i will just do this and here i'm going to change rp this is rp this is rp and this is rp okay so did i write the equations correctly so i'm going to just check one just have to check one of them and i have to check one of them on the top so we are okay so we are done with the equations okay next is i have to make a choice okay so i will start with 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 sorry 1 2 4 8 and like that 8 16 okay so let's do this let's keep this on the side so that i can have the access to the values so i will have access to these values okay and let's bring up this thing so i in the attenuators first is schematic okay and i am going to make this as t so if it's a t so it will be t zero underscore five db and this i'm going to say create schematic don't worry about the this warning okay so if i was to make a t i would need 1.439 1.439 1 868.109 okay so i have got these resistances over here if I want, I can use MRAS, which is going to be metal film resistor, but this is like 10 milli. So how much do I need as a size for creating one ohm from a 10 milli? That's, that's horrible, right? So I'll not use this one. How about this one? This is 17 ohms. I want to get down to 1.439 ohm. So it will be like a lot wider, okay, and a lot smaller. Okay, so if I was to do this as four, uh, sorry, uh, 4,000, and then I want to make one point, it might not even allow me, 1.439, nine. Let's say, yeah, it came up with this warning. It says calculated length 175 nanometer exceeds the lower limit. So basically you have to make it even wider. Okay, now, what about the Pi design? The Pi design has 2.8. So this looks a little better, right? This looks a little better. So if I go here, make this as 5,000 maybe. This is like five micron width, right? And then I make this value as 288, 2.88. So it accepts that, that's fine. But this is like one micron, 1.3 micron long and five micron wide. So if you have a problem laying this out, I can make a six micron width. So it is 1.7. Like say I make a eight micron width. So less two and a half, so that's fine. So I'm gonna accept that. So this is going to be a pi, okay? So this is going to be the series element like this, okay? Let's bring this over here. Okay, then what do I have? Others, 1.737K. So I will use a high res poly. Okay, okay, so here, let me make this as 1200 and 1.737. Okay, 1.737K. Okay, sorry, I did a mistake. 1.737 is 1737. 
that is 7.6 that's okay okay so this is 1.2 micron wide and five six micron long so that's also okay okay and then i'm going to connect to ground this is the pad i'm going to check if this gives me a 0.5 db of insertion okay so what i'll do is i'll put s parameter simulation terminal put two terminals here one and two ground so this is pi though i named it t so of course you know there is a problem here i will say save as i will say don't save it as t I'll save it as pi so i don't want confusion so that's the pi okay and then i have to put here the include file and i have to put the s, param s parameters controller sorry this is s parameter controller and i'm going to look in my band which is 27.5 to 28.35 28.35 okay in steps of 10 megahertz let's say 10 megahertz okay so everything is going good right somebody dropped out yes yeah, okay that's okay and then i'm going to hit simulate okay so let's look at s11 it's going to be 50 ohm s22 is 50 ohm oh why is not 50 ohm s21 db that's 0.6 db why it's not accurate maybe this guy is the culprit 1.736 1.737k so this is okay and there is an additional capacitance which has brought you down so what about this guy let me replace this with a different resistance let's say metal film resistor of course you will find in your realistic process you will find many okay you'll find many of these so let's say if i was to make this as one point what was the answer it's 2.88 right 2.88 2.88 okay let's go to 2.88 let's see how bad it looks 2.88 okay it's 86 micron let's break it up into four segments that's going to be 20 microns let's see what this performance is going to do uh what i suggest is there would not be this is this is this limitation of the process okay so it's better right and it's better here so what i'm saying is the following okay uh this what they have given in demo kit they have just used a metal a regular metal while in case of thin film resistors they would have a, a, a metal with higher resistivity so in realistic process in realistic process you will not have such a large resistor here okay because i'm i'm restricted to the the resistors which this demo kit has provided so we will ignore this for 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 some time i knew that this a polyrass is, is a culprit because it has a lot of parasitics here okay so that was the problem over here okay so this is like let me just adjust this little okay come on let's reduce its value slightly so it will not open come on oh none of them is opening i have to shut down ads this is horrible with this some of the components in demo kit you will be forced to restart your ads okay okay so let's go back to the attenuator pad so this is not so i can delete this if i want i can delete this because i don't have a t-pad I have a pi pad here. OK. 
के somebody has to correct that and it's not going to be me ki side guys should correct it okay 0.51 i have a error of 0.0162 plus so i have a error of 0.0162 i can leave it as is it's not going to kill me but let's look at the phase okay phase of s21 oh come on okay it's 3 degrees roll off okay 3.3.43 degrees roll off or 42 3.43 4 43 degrees roll off okay now i can leave this uncorrected but it will accumulate to a large number so what you have to do is you have to design these small lines okay and these for, for now i'm going to use just the ideal line okay but if you want to design these lines you can go to tools line cal and start a line cal you have the substrate information and then from that substrate information you can put it in there and design the width and the length of the line for a line of 3.443 degrees for now for my purposes i'm just going to put a ideal line here okay so this is going to be a 50 ohm line and this is going to be 3.43 degrees and this is going to be at 27.9 which is the center band and that's it so i am going to put it in here i'll put another s parameter block here sorry terminal here and i'll put here terminal 3 and 4 Three and four. So I'm going to compensate for the phase. It is going to be within like six degrees, but I don't want to leave it on any of the bits. So now, if I simulate this and look at phase of four three. So this is what I have done: is I have compensated the phase of four three. I have compensated the phase. So I have compensated the phase here. Okay. so now we are okay now we are okay to use this element so i'm going to say is file save as and i will save this as c c means component okay not over here i would add c over here oh come on shift c okay and i'm going to throw this off throw this off throw this off throw this off and i'm going to put in pins okay so i will call this pins as a1 which means it's attenuation and a2 and then p1 means means that there is no attenuation it's only phase delay p1 oh come on p1 okay and p2 done so i am done with one element which is 0.5 db insertion loss right similarly i will do all the elements okay so now let's go ahead and make a component for this and rest is all copy paste so don't worry about it it's going to be very quick so i am going to make components so let's push this in this folder let's push this in this folder and let's push this in this folder okay so for this i'm going to make a symbol uh for this i'm going to make a symbol create schematic symbol that's it oh i didn't take the ground out so there's a problem here i want the ground out so i'm going to just say don't save i'm going to delete this symbol okay i want the ground pin to come out so this is the ground pin so i'll put here another print call ground right and i will put that pin over here right this is my 0.5 db attenuator pad i'm going to make a symbol for this okay and say okay so now i have a ground so all i need is a ground to rotate out and go to the bottom 
and this one to go parallel with that. And this one is gonna go down like this and done. So this is a 0.5 dB pad symbol for that. Fine. So next is I am going to just make a copy of it. File new copy cell and I'm going to make a 1 dB. So this is going to be a T1 dB. Now I am not restrained to the, the small size of the resistor. So I'm going to say okay. Where did it go? Oh, it went under phase shifter. Okay. Bring it back. Okay, over here. So I'm going to make a T now. So one of them I'm going to delete. I'm going to put them to the side and I'm going to put something over here. Okay, so let's look at the values. Uh, did I close that? That's okay. Here are the design equations. So I'm going to put a T. So now I need 2.87, 2.87, 433.3. So 2.87 we already have available. Okay, so this is roughly 2.87, right? 2.87, 2.86, it's okay. So I'm just going to repeat this over here. And this is 433. 0.33 done and I will adjust this so let me just do first simulation let's look at what is the attenuation s21 so this is a 1 db pad so 0.994 so we are in error of 0 0.004 so it doesn't matter let's look at s11 and 22 s11 and S22. We are at the center here. So there's no problem of mismatch. Let's look at the phase, phase of S21. Okay, so it's around 0.47. Really, it is just a length of line, but it really is not worth it, but I still will put it. 0.47. And hit simulate. Okay, and here I'm going to put phase of 4.3. Okay, so we are compensating the phase also. Now we have only one dB of attenuation here. So I'll turn this into a component. So all I had to do is go here into ADS main window and make a copy of this. Where is it? Component. Yeah, this component. I'll say new and sorry copy cell and i'll put this in a right folder so it will be under attenuation folder and this is a t pad and this is a 1 db t pad and this is in db component done so this is a 1 db pad i will go here and throw these out and say control v I'll put them over here like this. Throw this one out. That's there. That's a 1 dB pad. So I'm done with the 1 dB pad. Now I'll make a 2 dB pad. Okay. So again, I'm going to just save the cell as. So 1 dB pad, I will save the cell as copy cell. So I will make this as a 2 dB admission pad. 2 dB, say okay. So it's a 2 dB at near pad. Where did it go? Here it is. And in this case, I'll just replace this T elements from the calculation. Uh, 2 dB pad, T elements, 5.73, 5.73, 215.24. .2, okay, 5.73, 5.73. Now, should I rely on the other guy? which is really bad. If I make this, then this would increase in size. So let's take that gamble, put here res poly. And I want to put here a resistance of 
5.73. Okay, don't worry. This is going to be 1200. 5.73. Okay, doesn't do it. Okay, so width I'm going to increase to like 2.4. And this is 5.73. This uh, is notorious. Usually these registers do not have that kind of capacitance which this model is showing. So I, again, not happy with this implementation. 5.73, 5.73, 215.24. So 215.24. Okay, apply, done, simulate this. Does this look like a 2 dB? S21 in dB. Yeah, it looks like a 2 dB. Let's look at the, the part which troubles me the most is S11 and S22. It's not bad. Not as bad as the previous one, right? That's okay. Let's look at the phase of S21, add phase. Okay, 3.26 degrees, and 3.3 degrees. Okay, so I'll go here and put this as 3.3 degrees. Done, hit simulate, or oh, somebody's waiting. So once I'm done in simulation, Let's compare the phase with 4.3. Phase, done, done. So we are okay here, fine. So our pad is okay. I'll just copy this, control C, and I will go to main window and T, this one, I'll say copy cell 2 dB. So this is going to be a 2 dB pad, okay? And here in this 2 dB pad, I'm gonna change these. These go off, this go on here, this goes off and done. So this is a 2 dB pad component and the symbol is same, okay? Then I'm gonna make a 4 dB, okay? So for 4 dB, I am going to go copy the cell. Okay, so 2 dB. I'm going to say copy cell, make it a 4 dB pad. 4 dB. Okay, and that's over here. And let's look at the values. Now I am looking at 11.3, 11.3, and 104.8. Okay. 104.8, 11. Oh, okay. So now I can replace this with all poly. Is this gonna cry? Maybe. Uh, that's fine. So let's make this one as 104.3. Is this gonna cry? Let it cry, 32 micron. So let's make this as 1.2. So that will be halved. Okay, 15 micron, that's okay. Now these ones are 11 point. So 104.8 and 11.3. 104.8 and 11.3. 104.8 and 11.3. So this will allow me 11.3, right? 11.3, apply. And say okay, delete this guy, copy this over here. Done. So this should be a 4 dB attenuation. Okay, so let's first look at the worst part, which is S11 and S22. Is this going to kill me? Yes, I don't like this. And this is the culprit, is the polyres. Okay, so there's too much of capacitance on this stuff, which I don't like. So let's look at the high-res poly case, high-res poly. Okay, let's, let's make this one as width of four micron. 
and this is 104.8, 104.8, and say okay, and now simulate this. Uh, slightly better, but not that good also, slightly better. Let's look at attenuation, S21 in dB. Okay, so this is around 4 dB attenuation, right? A 0 0.04 error. It's okay, let's look at the phase. S21 phase, 7 degrees, 7.38. 7.38. Okay, so design a line of 7.38 and put it here. 7.38. Done. Save and simulate. And put here 4.3. Phase of 4.3. And that's it. So here is our 4 dB at near pad. Phases are matched. Input uh, return loss is good enough. So I'm going to put this as a component. So I'm going to take this, control C, and I'm going to go to, so this is all mechanical stuff. Once you have the formulas, uh, you don't have to do anything. Copy cell 4DB. Okay. And I am going to replace this guy with this and this is a 4 db pad i'm going to throw this one out okay that's okay so 4 db pad is done so now i'm going to do 8 and 16 the last two and i'm going to do them as pi okay 8 and 16 i'm going to do as pi okay so for that so i will copy this pi thing okay so you copy cell and I will call this as eight. Eight. And this will be gone. So that's a eight dB. Where did it go? Over here. Eight dB. So I have to replace this. Let's look at the values for eight dB pad. It's going to be 116, 116, 52.844. Okay, so I'm going to do this 116 over here. So 116, so let's make this as again, four micron and then 116, 116 point, 116.1 and 52.8, 116.1. That's okay. 116.1. So I'm going to just delete this. I'm going to place this over here. And this one is going to be how much? 57 point. Uh, where did it go? 52.8. 52.8. So 52.8. I will use this guy, 52.8, 52.8, okay, three micron long, okay, done. So let's see if this is an 8 dB insertion, 8 dB insertion, sorry, in dB. So that's an 8 dB insertion with a slight error, that's okay. Let's look at the worst part which is S11 and S22. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so S11, S22 is not bad. Let's look at the phase. Phase of S21. Okay, this is 3.8, 3.85. Okay, so I'll put there 3.85, 3.85. Done and simulate. And I'm going to put here four, three, phase, done. So we are done with the eight dB pad. Now I'm going to do a 16 dB pad, which is again a pi. Okay, so I'm just going to make a component out of this first. So I have to copy this, right? And then I'll go to the main window 
and uh, this is the component say so say copy cell and this is going to be a db pad a db pad okay fine and where does it go eight c here it is i have to just replace this guys and i get rid of this and this and connect it done so we have a 8 db pad done and then 16 db so i'm just going to copy 8 db into a 16 db copy cell this becomes a 16 db pi done say okay and here i have to just place the values so now 68.8 68.8 153 so 153 i will get from this guy okay control c control v rotate 153 153 point uh, 77 153.77 Oh, 153.77, 153.77. Okay, so that goes over here. And then I want to put 68 over here. 68.8, 68.8, low rest volume. 68.8, 68.8, done, okay done and this is a 16 db attenuation so if i put here s21 in db okay so this is 16.02 which is 0 0.02 error that's okay let's look at the worst part which is s11 and s22 and this is not so bad okay and let's look at the phase of s21 phase of s21 Okay, four point over here is 4.93. Okay, so 4.93. So I will go here and make this as 4.93. Okay, and hit simulate and plot S43 phase, phase 43. Okay, so I'm done with 16 dB pad. Okay, so I'll make a symbol for this. To, to make a symbol, I'm just going to copy this guy, control C, and close this. And I will go over here, main window, uh, ADBC, B8C. I'll copy this cell as 16. 16. And say, OK, go over, so not 8. Go to the 16C and throw this out paste the other one and the story and we are done with all the pads okay so we are done with all the pads okay we have done all the pads 0.5 1 2 then we have done 4 8 16 32 64 so we are done with all the pads Okay, so we are done with five uh, attenuator part. We are done with the, the six attenuator pads which we wanted. And then we will take a break. We'll break, take a break of uh, 15 minutes. We'll meet at 11.05. And I'll put together the entire six bit attenuator, test it out, put the compensation stage, and we are done with the attenuator. Then we'll move ahead in implementing the receiver, right? So. So take a break. If you have a question, you type it over here. Any comments, any feedback, I'm going slow, fast. You just mention over here and I'll see to it. So take a break of 15 minutes. Thanks a lot.
So resume recording. Okay, so what we have done is we have made a symbol for the six bit phase shifter. And this is just a modification of, so this is just a modification of your phase shifter. It's attenuator schematic is just a modification. You added one more bit over here. And these paths are 16, 8, 4, sorry, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, and 0.5. Right, so this for this I have made a symbol and I'm going to quickly test it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. Uh, Arvind, have I uh, have I addressed your question here? Design concepts. Okay, design concepts is again if it is a class, if it's a linear amplifier or if it's a again on linear amplifier, I told you how to bias it, size it, and all that stuff. Right, for switching amplifier, I showed you a design of a class E amplifier. So if you have missed it, you go back to the first and session, second session and you will be able to do it. Okay, and if you want additional some stuff, so today I will try to cover that. Okay, so let's go ahead. You can type, you can type whatever you feel like over here and I'll be able to see it. So let's quickly test this attenuator schematic. ATTM uh, test test ATTN clear schematic. Don't worry about this. Let's copy this stuff. Okay, actually, I should have just copied the cell. Rather, I have done this. So, where is the test phase shifter? Test phase shifter. Here it is. I'm just gonna copy this stuff. So I'm also gonna include this power amplifier this time. I don't wanna do additional simulation, right? So I'm gonna copy this whole thing, Control C. Yes, and Control V. So this is a test setup for phase shifter. I am going to replace this, this guy with the six bit attenuator. <clears throat> Okay, these questions, if I address these questions, I would be not able to cover the agenda. So probably these questions we can take up, uh, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis after I finish this work for workshop. So your question is, uh, could you please go over the concept of load modulation dot the power amplifier design? Okay, uh, when I come to power combining, then I will uh, try to answer your question. So I am just going to finish the receiver fast and then go to the transmitter. And when I go to the, the, the power combining, I will come to your question here. Okay, so, so basically what is load modulation? It's just that one load is, the, the one side is 90 degrees out of phase with the other side. So basically that cancels out and you place the load to the center of this mid chart. That's what's happening in the Dorothy amplifier, but that's at a compromise of, a, of compression actually. So I will come to this when you do power combining. So if the time permits, otherwise we will pick up one to one later on. So I'm really sorry, I have to stick to, I have to stick to what we are doing here as the goal for this workshop. Okay, so let's put here the attenuator. <clears throat> attenuator six bit, there it is. In this, 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 and let's start with zero, zero on this one. So simulation settings, so is the default. So let's start with all of these as zero. And let's see how bad the things go. So this, what is important over here is the linearity of this attenuator. It will always be monotonic, but the problem is how linear this is. It is going to accumulate a lot of errors. Uh, well, it will be less than a dB error, but it will still accumulate error. Okay, so let's do this simulation. We have an attenuator here, we have a gain stage here, and I'm using the same gain stage, and I'm putting in the zero values. Okay, so I'm gonna hit simulate. 
Okay, so let's look at S11, the worst case stuff first. S11 and S22. If I've done something blunder, so I haven't done blunder. So we are in a return loss, which is not that bad. So one is over here, the other one is over here. And let's look at S21 in dB. Okay, so we are at 1.74 dB. Okay, so basically it needed slightly more gain to make it zero, but it's okay. Okay, so we are going to look at the relative stuff, okay? I can go ahead and copy this and subtract from itself, just like in the phase I did that. Okay, so everything would look zero, fine. So now I'm going to put in the word. Okay, so let's say I'm going to put in zero, zero, 001. So this one will become one and this one will become zero. Done. So I will go here and change the data set name to zero, 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 001. Correct? Apply, cancel, simulate. Done. And change, no. So again, I'm going to look at S11 for the new data set. So this is phase shifter, so don't confuse. You have attenuator is over here, S11 and S22. And we are over here only, we haven't moved. And let's look at, did I put a point, 0.5 dB of, phase, of attenuation? So this is the attenuator. I want S21 in dB. And from that, I'm gonna subtract the this guy. Okay, so I have around 0.7. So you see, this has become worse. But anyways, so what is the error here? Marker, 0.7, marker, okay, 0 0.68, 0 0.73. So I have a 0 0.25 db of error as long as i am half the step you can minimize this you can minimize this this is first cut design right you can minimize this so let's let's look at the next one so before that let me also look at phase so phase of s21 is this and then let's look at the next state which is 001 of attenuator Okay, and let's look at the phase of S21 over here. So we haven't done anything over here in terms of phase, right? So fine, so we are okay. It's just that this thing has a certain error, okay? So let's look at when the input is one. So I'll go to simulation settings. Uh, now it will be one zero. One zero, apply, and this would be one and this will be zero and this is going to be one sorry this will be one and this will be zero so this is a one zero input right and i am going to simulate this okay now let's look at attenuator one zero, S one one, S two two. Okay, so we are over here only, nothing happened over here. Let's look at this one. Okay, we are going to put here S one zero, S two one DB, DB, okay. And from this, I'm gonna subtract the default one, minus this. Okay, so now we are 1.2, 1.3. So that error which you are seeing basically is in the LSB. Okay, so you can adjust that error. It's in the LSB. So marker new. I'm not going to do that. If you want, I can do that. Uh, but for now, this may not be coming from the LSB as you might guess. It is not coming from LSB. Uh, mm -hmm. 0.25 is coming from the loss of the, but the loss of the switches are balanced, right? So it has to come from LSP only. Okay, 
So if you want, I can adjust this. I can adjust this fellow. Okay. I can adjust this blindly or I can redesign this stuff. Right. So I'm seeing more attenuation, right? So probably if I was to increase this thing, that will give you a lesser attenuation. Okay. Let's say 1.8. And 1.8. I don't recommend to this, do this blindly, but, and this one I can reduce. Okay, so 2.8528. Okay, so I'm doing this blindly, but you don't do this blindly. Okay, so let's simulate these again. So this I'm going to put here zero. So that's a zero, and that's a one. So we are at the initial stage. Let's go ahead and say simulate settings, the initial stage, apply and say simulate. So I'm not even going to look at it. I am going to go to one and then zero. Come on, let's say zero. And now I'm going to change the data set to zero. Browse, attenuation zero one. Okay, apply and simulate. Okay, now, okay, so it's now 0.6. So we have slightly corrected it. Okay, it's like it has to be 0.5, it is now 0.6. Okay, let's look at, change the data set to one. Okay, apply and change this one here. So what I'm saying is on the fly, if you do this correction, okay, you should be careful as I did. You should be careful what I did. So this would be zero and this would be one. Okay, and hit simulate. Okay, so now we are at 1.1 dB. Okay, so this was 0.5, so it turned out to be 0.6. And this is 1.1. So basically you can do the correction, okay? So I have, this is a first cut design. So I am, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. So I'm just going to simulate few steps, uh, few, few states. So this is three. And then you can work with this and you can really have a very optimum design yourself. Okay, and this is one one. No, so I'm going to add one one over here. One one S one one and S two two. So we are still over here, and let's look at the attenuation of one one and S two one dB. And from this, I'm going to subtract this guy, and now. Okay, we are at 1.77. Okay, what do you expect here? 1.5. You are getting 1.77 because what you get is 1 dB and 0.5 dB. So that is 1.5 dB. You are getting 1.77. So you have accumulated some more error. Okay, so basically you can, from where we generate ones and zeros practically. Oh, this you generate from your uh, FPGA, right? So FPGA is going to drive this phase shifter and attenuator. So, so ones and zeros would be generated by, so there will be a lookup table. That lookup table is for all the patches and their respective phase and attenuation values. And uh, you would feed, you would set the attenuators and phase shifters and uh, using FPGA for all the elements. And then you are going to give relative phase to all the elements and then the beam is going to steer. So that's how it works. Okay, so let's add one more, which is going to be zero over here. Sorry, one over here and these are zeros. So this is going to be one. This is going to be one and this is going to be zero. And now the data set is simulation settings. And the data set is going to be 100. Zero zero. 
Okay, apply, cancel, and hit simulate button. Okay, so I'm going to look at the step four, which is going to be this guy, S11, S22. Am I bad? No, we am there itself. And this should look like 2 dB, right? And all these corrections you have to do. Okay, so that once you are done with this, you have a, a really good dB. And here I'm going to subtract from this. Okay, so this is like 2.2 dB, right? So we accumulated of error of 0.1 on LSB and we accumulated error of 0.2 on LSB plus one. So that shows it over here as 2.2 dB. So either you go ahead and make a correction here on the second bit, okay? Or basically you have to spend some time to get everything correct, okay? So this is working. Let's look at the very last step where everything is one over here. So what do you expect? You will expect uh, an insertion of uh, 31.5 dB. Am I right? Because 32 dB is your the last step, right? So I will put here zeros, oh, sorry, ones. So this is all one. So this is the last step and this is zeros. Uh, name them as zero. Zeros, 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 zeros. Okay, so this is the last step, simulation setting. I'll have four one bits, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, apply, cancel. I'm gonna hit simulate. Okay, now let's look at the S11 and S22 on the very last step. Okay, S11 and S22. Well, it's over here only, nothing has happened here. Let's look at the attenuation on the last one where everything is one. And let's look at S21 dB. And from this, I'm gonna subtract this. And there we are. So now let's put a marker over here and how much are we in error? So we were to get 31 and a half. We are getting 32 and a 32.7. So we are in a 1.2 dB error on the entire, on the entire fish, uh, entire attenuator, we are getting 1.2 dB of error on 64 states. Okay, so on 64 states, I'm getting 1.2 dB error. Okay, so now you can make it better, but you have to spend time on this one. I'm not going to, this is a first cut design. Okay, so we are done with the, the attenuator, digital attenuator and phase shifter. Now, very quickly, what I'll do is, I can put that together, just like in presentation. I have here, LNA, uh, phase shifter, attenuator, and they are compensating gains, right? So, so that's, I can put it together, but I will not. I will go to the next step. What is the next step on this one? Okay, so I'm also, I'm also looking at compression and I'm also looking at noise figure and everything. The overall noise figure with everything in here, right? So I'm looking at the noise figure here, the match. So 1.2 became 1.5. You understand what I'm saying? 1.2 became 1.5. And uh, I'm looking at the overall gain of the stages, right? So I designed for 24 there. Here we are designed for 20. So here we are going to have 20 over here. And the return losses are going to be like this. So I'm not going to do this. Let's look at the next, next step. Next step is I have to take this single-ended, divide it into two. Don't go here. Okay, I have to take the next step, divide it into two. So there is going to be a divider here. Okay, so this is a power divider. And then take these two powers and split it and do a differential on this. So I have gone from single-ended to differential here. And then I would put mixer here. So basically one is I mixer, other is a Q mixer. So I Q mixer one, I'm putting in sine wave, other I'm putting cos wave. So this is very simple. So what is the next uh, design step? The next design step is a divider. So I will just quickly des design a Wilkinson divider here and a Balin here. 
So on chip Balin and Wilkinson divider, and then I will go to the mixer design. So that's the next logical step. And this is the simulation for with the mixer. And then I will do baseband amplifier, variable gain amplifier, and then we have the entire RX chain. Then I need an oscillator over here. So then we will design an oscillator and put that oscillator in there. And then we have this, okay? So hang on a second. I have to put an adapter. Okay, so this is going to be straightforward. All you have to learn is one, two, design, three design, four design, and five design. Only five designs you have to learn. You have a receiver. You might put one more LNA in the front end if you want, okay? So to increase the gain before you hit the mixers, okay? But anyways, this gives a very good control over your attenuations and phase shifts. So this is the chain which I want to put together. So I'm going to design a divider first, okay? So passives. So I will go here and say new folder and I will call this as passives. In this passives, I am going to first design a Wilkinson divider, new schematic. I'm going to do a Wilkinson. Now, uh, it goes like this. If you use transmission lines to design a Wilkinson divider, you might not have a very good control over impedances. If I implement this using LUM components, and my process is trimmed, then that will give you a much, much better control over impedances. So I want to do a Wilkinson divider using lump components. Okay, so how do I do that? I will go here and say new, um, this thing, and I will say file save as design Wilkin. So I'm going to design a Wilkinson divider let's say equation, I have a Z0 of 50 ohm, correct? And then I want to do a quarter wave lines of, so basically R0 is going to be equal to a uh, square root of two. So whichever, how many N, how many ways are there? So if it is a two way, the square root of two into Z0. That's your R0. And then you have series inductor, which is LS, is going to be equal to R0 divided by two into pi into frequency, fundamental frequency, which I haven't placed here. So let's place here a fundamental frequency here, F0. F0 is basically 27.9 gigahertz. So if you want giga, you can put E raised to nine. That's it, so this is LS. This is your inductance. And what about the shunt capacitance? The shunt capacitance CSH is going to be equal to uh, one divided by, so this is trans, this is quarter wave equivalent. So I'm putting quarter wave equivalents rather than putting a quarter wave there. So two into pi into F naught into R zero. Okay, so this is your CSH. So we are done with the Wilkinson design here. So now I'm going to tabulate these values. So equations, LS and CSH. And I am looking for 0.4 nano Henry. And I'm looking for 806 femtofarad. No, sorry, 80.6 femtofarad. 80.6 fam to fire. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to look for inductance of 400 picohenry or four into 10 is two minus 10. So let's, this is 1.5 and 403 point four picohenry. So I am going to do this as 54. 24, 28, 28, no, uh, 31, 31. So we exceeded it, 29.6, 29.6. 
okay 411 we are almost there 29 for her one 29.2 for her five 29.1 well that's okay rep approximately we are done so that's the inductor i am going to put this inductor over here like this and one like this over here then i need shunt capacitances okay so i need 80 point 80.7 80.7 okay so i would go to mim caps and i would say i want 80.7 80.7 80 means 10 and 10 okay her four nine point nine and nine okay eighty four eight point eight point six eighty point seven nah? eight point seven eight point six eight point five and eight point five okay eight point six okay eight point six Oh, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 
What? I didn't give it a name? No, wait, 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 wait. There's something mistake I've done. Delete this guy. I want to make a symbol for this one. Symbol. Done. Okay. So over here, I have one, two, and three. And this one I will ground. So this is the ground. This is the center. Okay. And if I want, which is kind of stupid, but I like doing this stuff. I'll put this one here, this one over here. Medium, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we are done with this symbol and the story. Test Wilkinson, new schematic test. Okay. So I'm going to draw this one in here. Okay, put a ground to this and put three terminals to this simulation as parameter one, two, and three. And then I'm going to just put this blocks like this. So I'm testing this Wilkinson divider. Put S parameter here. Do from our frequency band of 28.35 and steps of 10 megahertz. Apply, okay, we are done. We need one include file, which is this include file, we are done. We hit simulate. And we look at S11, S22, S33, S11, S22, and S33. Okay, all are at the center, so don't worry about it. So everything is fine in the design. Let's look at S21 and 31, they will be 3 dB down. S21 in dB and S31 in dB, they are really 3 dB down. So basically power divides into half on two sides. And let's look at the phase. The Both the phase are gonna be same because it's a Wilkinson divider, two one and phase of three one. Done, so the phase is what? Well, it's a 90 degree line, of course. So the phase will be 90 degree. Fine, so this is our Wilkinson divider. So the power will divide into half. Now let's do a balloon before we put it into a mixer. So let's go ahead and make a balloon. New schematic, B A L U N. Balen is an internal keyword. X. Okay, create. Balen is an internal keyword. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to do another, another this for the design. So I am going to have L S. So basically, I'm going to have Z zero. Uh, Z0 equal to 50. So I'm going to write equation for billion. And then LS. LS will be equal to Z0 divided by is square root of Z0 into 2 pi frequency. No. Z0 divided by uh, 2 pi frequency into, huh, am I messing up? Square root of two, sorry, bear with me for a second. If we did a mistake, we will just come to know. The square root of two into pi into frequency. Frequency is F naught, F naught. Okay, so F naught is not there. So let's put here a F naught. F naught is equal to 27.9 gigahertz. E9, done. So that is F0, that is the, the inductance. What about the shunt capacitance? Or oh, I'll say CS is going to be equal to Z1 divided by uh, two into square root of two into 
y into f naught. Okay, so this is the Balin design. We are done with the Balin design. Let's put the schematic. So we'll call this as des Balin. So Balin design is also very simple. Okay, why to mess up with the center tap transformer? Okay, this is a simplified Balin design. Okay, so let's put here the values. Equation LS and CS. Okay, so LS is again 0.49 Henry, which we have it. And this is 40. Uh, this is four. Uh, two into, okay, I forgot something over here. Into Z zero. Okay, so now this is 80. It's the same stuff, right? It's the same stuff. So that's very easy. So let's go ahead and pick up that guy uh, from the Wilkinson divider. Okay, so we need this inductor and we need this capacitor. Control C and control V. What? Control V. Okay, so let's put together a balance. So I need one of this like this. Okay, and I'll make a copy of this. This is going to rotate one over here and one over here. Done. And then I still need one of this, one over here. Okay, so this is a high pass, low pass structure. So this is 80, so one over here and I need one over here, right? So that's done. And then I need the high pass elements. So I will just rotate this and keep a high pass element like this. So that's the, the high pass element. Okay, now the next thing is the low pass elements. So that's going to be the low pass element. Fine, and I need to twice this. Okay, so I will just copy this one, put it here, one, go here to 161. So I want 161. So 161 is going to be 16 and 16. Oh, too much. 14 or 13 and 13. 13 and 13. Okay, am I recording? Yeah. So 12 and 12. 12. Oh. 12 and 13. So 12 and a half. 12 and a half and 12 and a half. So this is 161, done. Okay, so 161 over here, like this. And I'm gonna copy this guy, 161 over here. Okay, rotate this up. And then I need a 50 ohm. Will I go to the notorious polyrest? No, I'm going to make this 5,000. I don't like notorious stuff. I want here 50 ohm, done. Okay, so that's a 50 ohm resistor. So this is an isolated port. So I just do like this and like that like this. Okay, so now I need two coupling, three coupling caps. Okay, one is the single ended input. So 30 and 30. Okay, so this is a coupling cap. This is over here, one is over here, and one is over here. So we are all set now. The design is done. So this is the Balin design, which will do a 3db Power will divide into half, but they will be 180 degree out of phase. So I will put pin number one. 
then pin number two and pin number three. Done. And what I will do is, uh, I will just use the same. Well, in that case, I would also have to replace this with ground. So let's put a ground pin also. Uh, ground, G and a ground pin. And all I have to do is connect this guy with these three. This guy with that. And that's done. Let's make a symbol for this. In Wilkinson symbol, I had all these, right? So this is pin one, this is pin two, this is pin three, and this is pin number four, which is ground. So I can use the same symbol. Okay, so I can just copy this symbol and I will paste it in Balin. Okay, so we are done with the symbol for this Balin. Okay, and this is our schematic. Pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, and ground pin number four. Done. So we are going to test it. So we are going to copy test Wilkinson again. So copy cell. I'm going to do test Balin. B A L U N. Okay, there is no question yet. Okay, so I'll go in the test balloon. Where did it go? Oh, it went into attenuators. Test balloon into passives. Move. Okay, so there it is. Where it is? Test balloon. Double click it. Test your balloon. So this will be called balloon X. B A L U N X, and that's your balloon. Inside, you can look at it. This is your balloon, and you just hit simulate button. So, as soon as you sit simulate, let's look at S11, S22. If I have done nothing stupid, everything will be good. So, we are at the center. So, that's your balloon design. Your S11, S22, S33 are matched to 50 ohm. Let's look at S21 dB. S21 dB and S31 dB. Okay, so there will be 3 dB. So this is your 3 dB. So your balloon is dividing power into two. And let's look at the phase of S21 minus phase of phase of S21 minus phase of S31. Okay, phase of S21 minus phase of S31. This should be 180 degrees. Minus phase of S31. Okay done so that's 180 degrees 179.8 so we are in an error of 0.2 degrees so that's your balance design okay so have i got everything well yes have i got the mixer no so let's do a mixer design after this so what's the time 12 o'clock let's take a break of one and a half hours have enjoy lunch and come back so what we will do is after we come back I have got this guy, I got this guys, I have to do this, these two, right? And so I will quickly in 10 minutes design these two, another 10 minutes for this, so that's 20 minutes, and another 10 minutes for these two, that's 50 minutes, I'll complete the receiver. Okay, let's have a break. If you have a question, please type it in here. I'll be more than happy to, to answer. Otherwise, just enjoy your lunch and come back. Thank you.